Well, pushback on the construction of Line 3 continues. Over the weekend, protests were held for people to voice their concerns about what this could potentially do to the earth. Today was more the same. Chris Burns has the story. First things first, let it be known, they do not identify as protesters. Well, first of all, I'm a, I'm a water protector, I'm not a protester. I spent my life protecting water and I'm standing for the waters of Minnesota. We're the home team. That's what I'd say. Minnesota has a proud history of people standing up for what's right. That's what we've done. That's where Paul Wellstone, the late senator, came from. That's where General Assembly to stop the power line, a lot of workers' movements, a lot of farm movements, farm labor. All came from a proud history of Minnesotans standing up for what's right, and that's what I'm doing, standing up for what's right. Water protectors from all over the state of Minnesota showed up over the weekend to say they do not approve of the construction of Line 3. After eight arrests were made over the weekend, the Duke says it shouldn't have gotten to this point. It's just sad to see that, you know, we're there because we're protecting the water. We're not there because none of us really wants to break the law. But the fact is, is that the P Public Utilities Commission should not have issued those permits for a dangerous pipeline project. And so it's sad to see that Minnesota's police force has to come out to arrest Minnesota citizens who are trying to protect the water. Fast forward to today, and water protectors took to the construction sites. In a release from GNU Collective, one water protector says, I refuse to be complicit in settler colonist practices and feel I have to put my body on the line to protect indigenous community sovereignty and all of our futures. Another said, I believe it is my duty as a colonizer and as a person with the privilege to do so to put my body on the line to stop the Enbridge Corporation from building this pipeline. They did just that. According to the same release, water protectors were seen locked to each other inside a Line 3 pipe segment, stalling construction at an Enbridge construction site as dozens more held space. LeDuc believes this fight isn't ending soon. You know, I feel like this is our moment, Minnesota, because we're going to be fighting over rocks and pipes, mines and pipes for the rest of our lives. In the meantime, you know, I think we should figure out how to protect the water. You know, I'm going to plant my crops and and maybe Enbridge is going to use oil, but I'm going to use water to grow mine. And so let's see how it all turns out. Who does better? Reporting in Brainerd for Lakeland News, I'm Chris Burns. And there have been no reports of any new arrests that may have happened today, as well as no reported injuries. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.